Jacksonville City Council unanimously approved an emergency declaration after hearing updates on Tropical Storm Fay from city leaders on Wednesday morning. Mayor John Payton, Emergency Preparedness Director Marty Sinderfit, and JEA CEO Jim Dickinson reviewed what steps have been taken to prepare the First Coast so far, as well as what needs to be done as the storm nears our area. Action by the council really allows us to activate protective measures for Duval County. Of course, we're assuming uh, tropical force winds, which really are about 70 mile an hour sustained winds and gusts 15 miles an hour greater than that. You can expect significant loss of the tree canopy, significant power outages for a sustained period of time, uh, not to mention all the other inconveniences that come with a lot of rain and flooding. Uh, so we appreciate council's support as we work to keep Jacksonville safe. Rapidly changing forecasts encourage city leaders to take steps to prepare for the worst, and the emergency declaration allows further preparations to take place if needed. Schools are already closed in order to service shelters to the public, seven of which opened at 10 a.m. on Wednesday. Public works teams are also prepared to clear roads and make emergency repairs if called to do so. Mayor Payton also encourages citizens to be prepared and stay informed as the forecast continues to change. I tell you, this, this, these forecasts have been very hard to make uh, decisions from, and, and, and every forecast, every six hours, has had a, a, a different, different tone and a different message and a different trajectory. Uh, we try to make decisions based on what will provide the greatest amount of, of safety and security to the citizens of Jacksonville. We, we, we continue to pay attention to the storm. We urge citizens to pay attention. Uh, personal responsibility is the most important part of a, an effective emergency plan, and, and of course, we should prepare for the worst. And I think that is, you know, loss of power, significant, significant trees down, debris in the streets, um, and hopefully, uh, um, that'll be it. For more on Tropical Storm Fay, continue to check Jacksonville.com for updates. For Jacksonville.com, I'm Amanda Warford.